Hello everyone, today we're in the Mirage 2000C. We're going to be using today Snake Eye Mark 82s in a ripple format and a single format of the Beluga cluster bomb. We can have our Belugas on Pylon 5, we can have a single Beluga there. It's a cluster munition, so the canister drops and then sub munitions drop out. Pylons 4, we can have a Beluga there. Pylon 3, we can have Beluga there. Pylon 2. Two, and this is uh, symmetrical the other side as well, we can have a beluga or a rack with two times belugas on it. Regards snake eyes, which, Mark 82 snake eyes, which are 500 pound unguided high drag bombs. We can have two on these pylons here, or pylon three, a single one, or pylon four, single one, and five. We can't take them on five, it's only the belugas. The reason we're looking at the belugas and the snake eyes today is that the method of dropping them or aiming them in the Mirage is the same for these two types of weapon. It's CCIP aiming, continuously calculated impact point. So we can arm up with a single beluga in the middle and then as many snake eyes as we can carry. So we've got a total of one beluga in the middle in this case and eight times high drag snake eyes on these other pylons. While we're waiting for that, we're going to go in controls here. The controls we'll be using today is to drop these weapons, push and hold weapon fire there. To engage our CCIP symbology on the HUD, we've got weapons systems command forwards, and we've got aft there to disengage the CCIP symbology. We'll need both of those. So we're fully equipped now. We're going to turn our G limiter off to a more suitable position. Everything else we're going to do in the air. But the way we're going to drop these weapons is going to be different to show how we can do it differently. The Mark 82 Snake Eyes, we're going to drop them all in one run. We're going to do what's called a ripple where we drop them one after the other. And we're going to find a length of the, we're going to find a runway where we can bomb the length of it. And then the single beluga we're going to drop as a single weapon. Both going to use CCIP aiming, the Beluga which will drop in a dive, in a dive bombing technique and the Snake Eyes will drop in a low level strip bombing technique. So let's do the Snake Eyes first. The BF1 is the Snake Eyes, I'm going to set that there. We have to ensure our radar is turned on, so radar to emit. With our aiming methods here, TAS is radar base ranging, RS is radio altimeter base ranging. Just to make sure we're covered on all bases, I'm going to have TAS and RS selected, which is the standard safe protocol. Now for RS to work, we need to have our radio, radio altimeter engaged, which means we're going to set that guy to H there, and we're going to turn the power to the radio altimeter on there. Next, we're going to set our ripple up. So we're going to go here. We're going to set the quantity that we're going to ripple here. So right click, right click, right click, right click, eight of them. And here is the distance in meters times 10 between each bomb impact. So if we wanted, say, 200 meters between each bomb impact. So we're next, we're going to arm the bombs. We've got, uh, we're going to go to instant, so we have instant detonation. We can drop these perfectly low because they are high drag bombs and we're going to go in fast, so we've got no chance of damaging ourselves. Next, we need to engage our CCIP symbology. So special mode forward, and we've now got our CCIP symbology. So. Let's just show that off a little better if I dive here. From our velocity vector here, we've got this plumb line. This is the BFL, the bomb full line, and we'll have our CCIP reticle, or PIPA, at the bottom of it. And that will represent where, if I drop the bomb now, that bomb would hit. Now, I'm going to have to do this a little bit extreme just to show you. You can see that is our bomb full line. So if I were to drop this bomb right now, that would be our impact point there. Because we're doing a ripple of them, then in this case, that means that point there is where the ripple will start and it will end further down the line. In case I forget to say later, it's important when you come in for your actual attack that you are wings level. You can be in a dive or you can be flat, but you must be wings level. You can't be rolled to the left or rolled to the right. And you keep yourself as steady and on speed as possible. In terms of speed, we're going to be 400 to 500 knots for either the dive or the level bombing. In terms of altitudes, for the dive bomb, we're going to come in at 20 degrees depression, which is exactly what we've got here, 20 degrees pitch, and drop based on when our CCIP pipper here is over our target. For the level bombing, we're going to be 500 feet or a little higher, we'll be fine. So we'll unpause now and go and do our ripple. When we do the ripple, we'll push and hold the trigger. Pull it and hold the trigger. Whoops, a little bit faster. Um, and one thing we mustn't forget, obviously, is to turn our master arm on as well, which is there. A runway identified, we're going to have to roll in from the left of the runway. So we're gonna get some speed, we're gonna get some altitude. We could do it two ways. We could come in very low and just run from 500 feet all the way down, including ingress, or we could kind of dive onto the runway. And that would allow us to use our CCIP pipper a lot better. If we were gonna do it just level, 
a good chance we won't actually be able to see our CCIP pepper. Where, and we want to start bombing when the CCIP pepper touches the threshold of the runway or the beginning of the runway. So I'm going to come in from a dive so that we can just see when our CCIP uh, pepper touches the beginning of the runway. Okay, I think that will do us. We're turning in now. Got to turn in nice and tight. Just got to watch our G loading. Got to make sure we're wingless level when we go into the actual dive. So just going to overturn a little bit this way. Here we go. Not the best ingress in the world, but it should just about work out. On speed. Wait for the reticle and pull and hold and level out and wait for the magic. Pretty cool, huh? So you can see the first bomb hit exactly where our CCIP reticle was showing at the threshold of the runway. What I should have done is space these bombs over about uh, 4,000 meters rather than 2,000 meters, but you get the idea. So that was showing how we can use these in a kind of strip or a low dive into a level bombing with a ripple. And now we're going to show how we can use the Beluga just as just a single targeted drop. Now I'm not sure whether we have to disengage this ripple here, but I'd just like to do it just to, just to make sure. I'm going to turn that down to zero, 0, And it's going to be super easy. All we're going to do is find a target that we like the look of. And I can see some aeroplanes there on the apron. We've got to get up to 4,500 knots. We want to be able to coming down in a 20 degree dive pitch. Everything is already set up from the previous attack, so I don't need to change my settings at all. And we're going to use our pitch ladder on the HUD to determine a 20 degree dive. It's going to be a little bit steep because I've gone a little bit high, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay, we're going to aim ourselves. We know where we're actually flying because we're flying where that shows the velocity vector. So we're going to keep that above the target. And what we're going to do is drag this bomb fall line in the CCI Pipper up towards the target. There's something like that there. Feels like it should be okay. Here comes our CCIP Pipper. We'll wait until the right moment. And the trigger is pull and hold. Out we go. The bomb's out. Follow the bomb, it will be uh, partitioned by now. You can see it's bomblets. Boom, absolutely perfect. So, shows if you do it right, it can be really accurate in the Mirage. We can go back to 9G maneuvering. We can cancel our CCIP term uh, symbology. In fact, it's already done, but to cancel it, we could have done special mode aft. In fact, I've done it there. I've canceled it and we're back to uh, basic nav there. So it shows CCIP aiming from a dive and level ripple bombing and symbol bombing with the Blugas and with the snake eyes. I hope that was useful and see you later.